I'd say I definitely do my best work amidst silence, like the times where the waters are stilled enough to really focus and concentrate on the thing. Much as, as an artist and as a dad and as a person, the, the white noise of life and the, the craft and the administrative stuff is the majority of the day. Uh, the purity of like taking the time to go and now I'm focusing on this is a really like precious moment. I would say that's, that's in the quiet times. Whose praise of my work is most important to me? Well, I would say that the praise I waited the longest for would be my dad's. And it's still, you know, hardly there. <laughs> but it is, it also is, you know, they say no great art can be made without a chip on your shoulder. And that's been the chip on my shoulder. It's helped me, whatever degree of decent art I've made has been in part because of, uh, because of that praise gap. So I, I'm thankful for it as well. Uh, how do you define success? And in, in this year, how do you define success? I think it's very, very simple. Is that you make music or art or work that is honest and is meaningful to you. Uh, I think that in, you know, chasing com commercial success when you're an artist is a really slippery slope. And you know, young guitar players or artists come up to rappers coming up like, well, like, how do I be successful? I'm like, make if you love what you're doing, and whether you're doing in a basement in front of your friends or in, in uh, a stadium in front of 80,000, that's what the true mark of success is. I know people that are playing in stadiums in front of 80,000 people and are utterly miserable uh, and have all the financial success in the world, but do not have like sort of a, a core of, of, of uh, are not, their work is maybe not rooted in their true selves and honesty, and that's, um, and that's uh, a fate worse than death. Well, I mean, there's a lot that's surprising, but I, I'm not surprised by it. It's so hard for me to pick one, one, one arrow out of that quiver. Uh, I don't know, it's my, like, I love, you know, it's, it's, there's a dichotomy, like, I love hardcore punk rock music, and I love 80s hair spandex metal. You know, I'm a Dungeons and Dragons nerd, but I will play some ripping guitar like the guy in the most coolest metal band, whatever. Um, so I just, I've, 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 like long ago, I gave up kind of trying to impress other people and just being myself in my work and, you know, take it or leave it. What is my perfect day? Perfect day is easy. It's a day just uh, uh, rolling around and playing with my kids. It's a day sort of unburdened with, uh, you know, sort of the static of life.